Happy Functional Medicine Friday. Dr. Julie McLaughlin here with McLaughlin Care. So today we're going to talk about another lab test panel. And this one is on genetics. And it's on one test called APOE or APOE. So what does that mean, right? So did you ever wonder like, why do some diets work for some people and not for others? I think some people they'll do like keto and they do great. And other people they're like, oh, I did terrible. Some people do vegetarian and they're doing great. And some people don't, but like, why? What, you know? And so you always hear them like, well, you didn't do it right. Well, you didn't eat the right thing. Well, you ate this or, you know, there's another answer. It's in our genes. It really is in our genes at some of these things that we eat. So when we're born, we get certain cards, right? We get certain genes. And those cards are what you get. You have them for your whole, whole life. And it's whether or not they express themselves or how they express. And we can change that with our food, our nutrients that we take, and our lifestyle. Because you don't want to just let it go and throw everything up in the air and say, well, it's all my genes fault. No, you can absolutely control what's going on with those genes. And that process is called nutrigenomics. And this is how our genes interact with food. So when we look at the APOE, this is really what makes us unique. We get one from our mom and one from our dad. And this is a great gene to help us know how we're gonna interact with certain nutrients and with the food we consume. So APOE is really a critical protein in our cholesterol. And it, it's important for cholesterol absorption from the intestines. So you can imagine if you absorb too much, you're gonna have high cholesterol. And if you don't absorb much, you're gonna have low cholesterol. So do you see how that can affect? So when we talk about this, sometimes the genetics can get a little tricky. So I'm gonna give you a little refresher course. And the easiest thing is the male, female, right? So female is XX and male is XY. We get one allele from each parent. The Y determines the differentiation in the sex. So if you have a Y, you're a male. And if you have two Xs, you're a female. But in the male, they still have the X, but the Y makes the difference. So in the APOE, it's really similar. So there's a three, three, right? So the three is the thing that's pretty much common. Um, and the three most common genotypes in this APOE are a three, a two, and a four, right? So there's some others that are pretty rare, but I'll tell you about those two in a second. So the three, three, you know, a three from your mom and three from your dad, right? Or a two, three. So if you get one from your mom, one from your dad, it makes you a two, right? So just like that Y in the male thing, that's, you're a two. If you have a three, four, then you're a four. Now the very rare ones, like less than 1% of a percentage, right? You could have a two, two, a four, four, or a two, four. So the two, four is very tricky and we'll talk about that in a second. So when we look at these, we wanna know what do tigers eat, right? Tigers eat meat, they're carnivores. What about bears? They're omnivores. So they eat a little bit of plants, they eat a little bit of berries, they eat some fish, they might eat some, some animals, so they're omnivores. What about deer, right? They're pretty much veggie eaters. They're vegetarians. So guess what? We're the same way, but we can go to the grocery store and buy and eat whatever we want. But some of our genes are going to be targeted to help us control those genes with our food. So when we look at the APOE, remember, there's going to be the three main genotypes we're going to talk about. So the three, they're bears. They're like an omnivore. They're middle of the road. And that's where we want to be. So 50% of your plate should be complex carbohydrates and 50% should be protein and fat. The deer, they're going to be more veggie eaters. Those are the people with the APOE4. And they're going to be more susceptible to heart disease and Alzheimer's. And you're like, what the heck? I don't, I don't want that. So if you have that vegetarian, you know, leaner protein, chicken and fish lifestyle, you're going to do much better with that type of genotype. Now the tigers, they're the opposite. They're more susceptible to diabetes and they're gonna be better eating a, like a carnivore, like a tiger. 
So I'm giving you a brief overview, but I'm gonna give you a chance here at the end of the video to have a little bit deeper dive. So on the three, so we look at what is the risk? So 65% of the population has this genotype. It's the most common one. It means you're middle of the road. You don't have higher risk from this one gene. You might have other genes, but from this one, you, you don't. So remember, 50% of your plate should be complex carbohydrates and 50% should be protein and fat. If you're a two, a tiger, that's what I am, diabetes runs in my family, sometimes you can kind of guess what you might be by looking at your family history, who has heart disease, diabetes, things like that. So only 10% of people in the world are tigers or twos, right? And they're more susceptible to diabetes, but it's very heart and brain protective. So the risk of Alzheimer's is very, very diminished. And the risk of high cholesterol and heart disease is very, very diminished, except if you turn on the diabetic gene, all bets are off. Everything goes crazy. So these people should eat more keto. So like 70% of their plate should be protein and fat and 30% should be complex carbohydrates. And the last one, they're gonna be deer. So 25% of the population are gonna be deer, more susceptible to heart disease and Alzheimer's. So these people wanna have 60% of their plate complex carbohydrates and only 40% protein and fat. So we have to have that balance because we don't wanna turn on any of those negative side effects. So there's a lot more information that I have on each one of those genotypes that I go through. And if you wanna learn more, I'm gonna give you an opportunity. Um, we have online courses that we have taught um, and they're recorded and they have downloads and handouts and pictures and all kinds of things for you. And it's on www.projectselfie, and it's S-E-L-F-Y dot com. And the course is called Eating for Your Genes. And if you go on there now and type in the promo code SUMMER22, you will get that course for free. And then you can learn some more. So if you have any questions, let me know, 847-234-2346. And uh, I hope you have a great day. See you next time.